Welcome to Dad Tech, where we talk tech toys and gear for geek-centric dads. If you checked out my last video, and if you didn't, don't worry, I'm gonna put a card up here. I unboxed the Iron Man Mark 85 from Hot Toys based upon the Marvel Avengers Endgame movie. So I'm gonna follow that up with the next logical progression in the Marvel Infinity Saga, which is the Hot Toys collectible of Spider-Man with the upgraded armor suit from Spider-Man Far From Home. So let's check it out. So as you can see here, as always, Hot Toys does a great job with packaging, boxing. This one has a slip cover. There's kind of a hologram kind of aesthetic on the front of it. Again, it's a slip cover. He's got a little green tint. This one definitely leans into the impact of Mysterio on the movie where you can kind of see the fog, the green fog that would be emitted by Mysterio. Um, and they did, a, they did a great job of kind of replicating that in this packaging. It's got a little bit of a green tint on the lower portion here. As you can kind of see that he's within Mysterio's fish aquarium bubble type thing. And it's a great way to kind of invoke the impact of Mysterio on the movie. Let's show it for the people up top. Take a look, you got the, the naming convention of Spider-Man here, as you can see. Like I mentioned, kind of hints of Mysterio's helmet, fishbowl helmet type thing that he's got going on here. You see some of the green. So a really great way to kind of encapsulate Mysterio's impact on the movie and in the toy by kind of putting it within the slip cover and building it into there. The back is always kind of has all the details for all the people involved in the production design and the art design of the toy itself. Let's take the slip cover off. You see kind of the drones. It's kind of the battlefield where Mysterio set out to send the drones out to go get Spider-Man. And this is nice. You got a little peek boo view you got a drone there this one has more definitely more accessories than the previous iron man mark 85 that we just did so we'll check that out upon opening all right let's dig in this is not die cast so it's not going to have the same type of kind of styrofoam that we had on the previous iron man i believe this is a two tray you've got spider-man tom holland's likeness the drones, you got some spider web action going on here. And then you've got the various assortment of replaceable hands that are available to you for replacement along with the cowl eyes that kind of represent Spider-Man's emotionality at any given time, depending on how he squints. So you can change that. You've got the glasses that Tony gave to Spider-Man along with the cell phone, and you've got a different cowl that you can utilize here as well. With the magic of editing, we'll unwrap all the stuff. There you have it. You got a lot more in terms of accessories here. Obviously there's, you know, many different versions of the, you have nine different interchangeable hand types. Peter Parker's is definitely a little bit more expressive than uh, some of the Marvel characters that are currently on the roster. So you have, you know, cool stuff like this, which is like the, you know, peace sign. He's got a peace sign going there. You know, you have to have the iconic kind of web shooter hands, web shooter hands on both sides if you wanted to do that. You also have open hand action if you wanted to do that as well. Definitely a lot more options in terms of how you want to pose and present this version of Spider-Man, which is really cool. You have also the different varying eyelets, you know, to kind of signify here his, his demeanor and and what his mental state is at any given time based upon how the eyelets are open or closed or whatnot. This is cool. I think it's kind of funny that they have just the, the cloth cowl. The other aspect of this that I really like is not only do you obviously put a base for Spider-Man, but you could then attach kind of this auxiliary piping that allows you now to put the drone on it as well to make it seem like he's being chased by the drone. So that's really, really cool. I think that's an awesome aspect of this particular model that it's got not just Spider-Man on it, but some of the antagonistic drones that are also in the movie. So that's super cool. Tom Holland's again, I'm not a big fan of like the actual actor's busts. So I never really display them. Not that I dislike them or anything, but I'm trying to put Spider-Man as my collectible, not Tom Holland. Holland, so no offense, Tom Holland. I think this bust is perfectly fine, but you know, your face is not gonna go on my shelf, dude. You got the Tony Stark control sunglasses or whatever the case may be. And then you got the cell phone, right? Peter Parker does all of his stuff through his cell phone. He's a teenager, so. Then you've got the spider web, actual spider web action. So again, you can attach that. There's a bunch of different versions of the spider web. I didn't even take it out of the foam here, but there's a bunch of different iterations of how you want that web to be. And this would just be attached to that. 
that. So again, super cool. Now let's get on to the actual figure itself. Most of the outfit is kind of like this neoprene material, which is super cool. I've always been a fan of like the alternate versions of Spider-Man, the Venom Spider-Man. So this take on the particular outfit is really nice and sleek. It kind of mimics a little bit of the Into the Spider-Verse version of Spider-Man as well, which I really like. So it's not so much blue as much as it is black, to be totally honest. I guess you're gonna call that deep, deep blue, but from my vantage point, it looks like a black on red Spider-Man. So again, it looks a little bit more like Miles Morales' outfit in Into the Spider-Verse, which I really enjoyed. So this kind of echoes a little bit of that. Super poseable arm section. You got the head, can be twisted. He's got a little bit of a bend to him, so you can bend him if you needed to. Again, the leg portion, no issues there. There is only one joint here at the ankle. Uh, so you might find yourself having some issues, you know, posing him certain ways. It doesn't have the same articulation that the Iron Man had on the Mark 85. So that might be an issue if you're trying to do some more complicated posing for this particular figure. But otherwise, it looks perfectly great. Like I said, I really like the material. It's neoprene on the back, I'm sorry, on the black portion. And then on the red portion, it's just that kind of textured stitching of cloth that covers and drapes the red portions of them, which is really great. Base is super nice as well. It's got the skyline of New York City there with the Empire State Building. And it's got that inlay of the Spider-Man logo kind of juxtaposed and inset within that skyline. So that's super cool as well. All right, so let's check out some macro shots of this guy so you can kind of appreciate it. All right, there you have it. Spider-Man, Far From Home, upgraded dark suit, super sleek. I love this version. I love the Tom Holland interpretation of Spider-Man. That's always the way I've kind of thought about Spider-Man from the comic books. This is a great representation of my favorite of the Spider-Man movies. A ton of accessories, a ton of ways that you can kind of customize the way you want to pose this particular Spider-Man. So have fun, go crazy. Not bad considering the cost. This is not, you know, a typical $400 hot toy. So this is like in a $200 realm. I'm still a lot of money for a toy, but again, from a collectible standpoint, it's one of the uh, linchpin moments in the Marvel Infinity Saga. It's, it's literally the last movie in the saga. Pick this up if you like Spider-Man. This is a great version of it. There's going to be a lot more. I have the Miles Morales version on the way, so we'll take a look at that as well when it gets here. But other than that, if you like the video, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll check you next time. Peace.